All right, in this video, let's go ahead and assign two cars to two people. So right here, you can see that the car ID column in person is completely empty for every single one. So what we're going to do is simply update this value with these two cars. And you will see that the constraint that we added, so this one right here, backslash D and then person. So this one right here so unique and then car id is actually working and in fact we forgot to add the uniqueness constraint on the actual email but you've saw that in the previous video so let me go ahead and delete that and select from person first and then from car now let's go ahead and assign a car to fernanda so let's go ahead and say update and then person and then set and then car ID equals to and let's pick this one right here. So Land Rover equals to one where and then ID equals to one. So actually, just let me change this so it's not that confusing. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to set the car ID. So let's actually change this. So two and then one. So one is Fernanda. So we're going to change Fernanda's car ID column. So Fernanda ID is one. So this is one right here. And we're going to assign her this car right here called GMC. So the car ID is actually two. So this two right here corresponds to this one. So if I go ahead and press enter, you can see that works. Now, if I select everyone from car or actually person, you see that Fernanda right here has a car. So you can see right here. So let's also add a car to Omar. So update person set car ID. And for now, let's actually try and add the same car. So you see that our constraint is working. So where the ID of Omar is two. So I'm going to press enter and you can see that. So if I clear the screen, and run the same command again, you can see that our unique constraint is working. So car ID is already taken. So let's go ahead and select start from person and from car so you can see properly. So now what we're going to do is give it this car right here. So the Land Rover, I'm going to press enter. And now if I select everyone from person, select star from person you can see that we have omar right here with car id one and in fact let me select all cars and then car from and then car you can see that omar has the car id of one so you can see that it's a land rover and then fernanda right here has car id two so which is this one right here gmc and this is how you set a value that corresponds to a key in another table and if i was about to actually so update a person so let's let's try now um adriana so adriana has an id of one but now let's try and add an id that doesn't exist so four right or even three right because there is no id three in this table so if i was about to run this and in fact let me run it you see that insert or update on table person violates foreign key constraint and it says that car id three is not present in table car which is true and that's the power of foreign keys it means that you can only assign a foreign key when there is a relation in the other table and this is all for this video if you have any questions on updating foreign key values go ahead and drop me a message otherwise join me in the next video where i'm going to show you how to join two tables in a single query join me there see ya